Hey everybody, Adam Conrad, founder of Great Recruiters here. I am uh, here for our next Great Recruiters, uh, Recruiter Spotlight, GR Spotlight here with Kayla, Clea Schaefer from Doherty Staffing. I appreciate you joining me today. Thank you. Yeah, great to be here. Awesome. Well, hey, uh, Clea, why don't you start off and just give us a little insight to who you are and a little bit about Do Doherty Staffing. Sure. So my name is Clea, obviously, and I am from um, rural Minnesota. So I moved to the metro area um, just to start my new career. Um, but a little bit about Doherty. Um, we are a pretty big staffing company, um, one of the largest in the state of Minnesota. And we do a lot of um, not only like administrative type work, um, we do like accounting, um, you know, we also work light industrial and then we have like engineering positions. We do a wide array of different mm -hmm. types of recruiting. So my specific area that I work is for um, top talent, which we do more of like the administrative call center mm -hmm. or, you know, your account accountant or anyone else that maybe working and works in an office setting. So awesome. kind of what I do. Yeah, oh, that's great. Thanks for sharing. And, and I always like to ask this question because I know myself growing up, um, I was not thinking to myself, wow, I want to grow up and be a recruiter. Uh, yeah. I kind of fell into it. So I always love to know, how, how did you get into recruiting? Yeah, it's a crazy story. So I actually come from um, the baseball background. I love baseball. And so I, that was my career. I wanted to work in baseball. And um, as I got into it a little bit more, it just, something wasn't right. I was missing something. And so I got my MBA, came back to the Twin Cities, and I just, I guess, drove by Doherty. And I thought, well, you know what? I'm looking for something different. So I applied right away. A recruiter reached out to me. I came in for an interview, and that recruiter wanted to submit me for a call center position. And at the end of the interview, she said, you'd be a great recruiter. And I said, Oh my gosh. That's yeah. Great. And I, it was crazy. She said, would you want to do that? And I said, I guess, I, I mean, I didn't have any idea what a recruiter was and yeah. it was amazing that I fell into this place where it kind of mixed what I liked about the baseball um, industry as well as, I don't know, just the being able to help people. So it's been, a, it's been cool. That's awesome. So funny. I was uh, working at a call center <laughs> when yeah. somebody uh, called for a technical reference on one of my coworkers and yeah. uh, they turned it into a recruiting call. And the next thing you know, I'm, I'm recruiting two weeks later. So That's very, uh, very funny yeah. story. So, hey, um, everybody's really interested. I mean, what kind of challenges are you guys facing right now? Obviously it's been a, a crazy time around the world and just curious what you guys are doing to kind of stay connected and what kind of challenges you guys are facing today. Yeah, so I guess the biggest thing that we deal with on a daily basis is just getting people um, prepared to go, be go back to work. Um, I think one thing that people are concerned about is going back into the actual workplace. So it's just having them be prepared. And mm -hmm. I think that's part of customer service too, is just assuring those people that, you know, we've talked with the client, we've made sure that things are ready to go for you to go back and they're happy to have you there. And then there are people that maybe just don't want to go back and they're looking for more remote work. So just yeah. trying to bridge the gap between clients and kind of finding a way that we can do that work from home too. So I think that's been the struggle, just trying to find a happy medium there. Awesome. And, and let me ask, how is, uh, how has great recruiters helped you through this, the, the, this issue and the, the COVID side and just overall as a recruiter, how, how has great recruiters helped support you out there? Yeah, I think it's been great just because you don't make many connections when you are kind of on an island by yourself and you right. miss out on people. And so I think just having that contact with someone and maybe you're the only contact that they have during the day and they get an email from you and it's got the great recruiters, click here to review me now. Um, and maybe you made an impact on that person. And it's great because yeah. I also need the reassurance that I'm doing a good job and I need contact with people. So it's just been great just to have that, oh, I've got a review <laughs> and it just makes your day a little bit. That's awesome. And, and um, you had mentioned, you know, the positive stuff. And I read this one just from one day ago, right? I mean, the positive, uh, it uplifts you. It, it gives you empowerment, it gives you encouraging. Recruiting is a tough business. We don't get enough positive accolades all the time. So, you know, those, those positive reviews really do help lift you and, and kind of light yeah. a fire. Um, how do you handle the, the negative feedback that you get? How does that, how does that impact you? Yeah, um, I think it keeps you in check. Um, we all have bad days. And that's just the thing that you have to realize is that it's not going to be perfect. 
and you can expect bad reviews because we're not perfect people. Um, but at the same time, if you do get a bad one, what can I do to make that person's experience better? And how can I get, you know, how can I make them want to be a candidate of mine? And so I recently just had one like that. And, you know, I just reached out to her and said, Hey, I'm sorry if I can do something to help. I would love to let's set up a time to chat. Um, and so I was able to build a relationship with that candidate. So we're not all perfect and it's okay to have that happen. No, that's great. I mean, I think that's the best practice, right? I mean, when yeah. you identify issues are out there, and I, I always, I, I hate using the word negative because I think sometimes it's constructive. I think sometimes it's just the job search can be frustrating. Sometimes the recruiter gets a brunt of that. But the important thing is what you said. It's it's being able to get the information in real time and be able to follow up with that. And so I'm just curious, what was the response when you called that candidate back? Yeah, I, I think she was a little surprised that I had you know, reached out to her, but she was more than willing to set up a time to meet. And I was just upfront with her about what I had available at the time. And I said, you know, it, it might not be exactly what you want, but I would love to chat with you and see, because sometimes yeah. we do have other opportunities. So I think she was very pleased and I was happy to make her feel like she was important. Oh, that's good. And, and, and one of the things we were talking about was the referral component. And it sounds like, you know, you get the positive reviews. We, we automate the ask for the referrals. It helps to bring more people in. Can you talk to some of the success that you've had with the referrals on the platform? Yeah, I think it's great. Um, we typically do get a lot of referrals. I would say it's been a little bit slower just as of recently, but um, when we do get them, Doherty is big enough. I mean, we have a lot of different areas of our business and we have been able to kind of spread those people out a little bit. And if I don't personally have something, you know, our other department might. So I think it's a great thing, especially if you're, you know, a bigger company and you're looking for some way to get referrals in. Um, yep. It's been really helpful. Very good. Any, any final uh, thoughts, Clea, that you'd like to share as we kind of wrap up here today? You know, I just think that great recruiters is a great thing. I maybe was a little bit skeptical starting out, but as I started getting reviews and seeing the value and getting some feedback, I think it's made me a better recruiter just because I can keep myself in check and how can I help that person? Um, I just knowing that getting a job is a hard thing to do and it's hard to do alone. And if we can all just be good to one another and help each other, I think that is awesome. Oh, that's awesome. Well, I definitely appreciate it. And if you're in the Minnesota area and you're looking for a job, Doherty Staffing is definitely one that I can tell you. Clea is one of a, a number of recruiters out there that are doing a great job working with candidates out there and just happy to have some time to chat with you here and uh, really appreciate your insights, Clea. Yeah, thank you. Well, you're it's welcome. Been great.